telling you a story, a true story, about real people. Come on, somebody, I don't think you heard me. I said about real people. Amen.
try to tell nobody because I'm pregnant for Johnny and furthermore, I'm not working. And I know you alone they get touched. God, your room. On a seat, on a looking tweet, and the same thing me go through when my opinion, my stepfather touched me. And see it, the one little bit they will be out. See him, stepfather touched me too. I stepfather touch her too. Daddy, don't touch me there. I'm gonna tell you. Okay. 
And um, the, did, I, did I ask about educational? I don't think I asked educational. Who can tell me what, how, uh, what, what, was, what about it was educational? Say it right there. Yes. Okay, the fact that you were being told what's happening in your homes and how parents are dealing with it and it opens our eyes that we need to have resources where we can go to to get the child comes to report to our parents sometimes will deal with it as well. they are. Alright. Alright. Oh, it yes. also help us to understand that we, we must listen to our children yes. when they speak to us. We don't tell them that you're telling them now because it is a reality what is happening to our homes today. And the, the only avenue, if you push them away as parents, if we, well, let me say we, if we push them away as parents, they, go into the arms. they are going to go into the arms of someone else. What I had to do the culture of it, address this culture, the culture that we have as people, to not to address certain issues that are staring us in the face. Um, and we tend to have this culture of silence, and I noticed that she silenced the child. Yes. So she put her in a box to say that if we are dependent on somebody for economic reasons, we have no voice, and that is where we want to, to, to go, to have a voice. And this is something that has been repeated, because it was with her and her mom. And no, yes, it's a silence. The hidden agenda in the classroom is perhaps the great value of learning from which children learn without you even intending to teach them in the So there is other things. Speak to you not necessarily delivering your curriculum as you have it in print right. or the things that you do yourself that should bring uh, actual working out to the children or what life is. Yes. Also shows uh, that we need some level of independence as women because yes. I believe that she noticed as she knew yes. that the child was speaking the truth, mm -hmm. but because of our dependency mm -hmm. on the mask, mm -hmm. she had to push her away. Push her away. But she knew because we could see that she expressed that. As you said, it also happened to her. Mm -hmm. Okay, so one of the things I want to talk about. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, Educationally, what I got yes. from the presentation, there were various aspects that could be used as introductory activities within the different educational system and different grade levels to spice up conversation and all of those things from students across the educational ladder. And the message I got after the child spoke with the mother was that some giving information as to the role of a father to the child and the bad touch that that was. So that song was powerful information on the education of the Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. The past you said, as you said, the issue of the town is fresh. And that would trigger off. But uh, the congregation to say that because of that time is fresh, so we have a problem. I'm happy that you mentioned that because I was going to come to that next. What, how did the introduction play a part in the overall message of the production? How did the introduction play a part? Anyone? Although they are intricately linked. We seem to separate a lot of the things that happen in the church as a way from home. So even though we know the right things and what we should address, we still have it steering us in the things. Like and you know what? Uh, what I hope I don't grab it. The, the last part about holding a pen, how that gel with the presentation at the front and then the beginning is as if you're locked in. You can't come over because the society has locked in. The society has locked you in. Yes, you don't have a voice. All right. Okay. So I I I'm gonna have to uh, quickly push everything together. All right. So um, 
Once the piece, once drama, we're talking about drama now and the role of drama to students. Now, if drama, or not just drama, but dance, art, does not have most or at least some of these aspects in terms of entertainment and emotion, then we cannot consider it as art. And since I'm pressed for time, I'm going to quickly move this up. Um, that one of the things that drama helps to do is that drama helps to build self-esteem. And I would recommend to you all that you incorporate drama, and not just drama, but the performing arts, into your, um, your, 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 your subject areas. Try as best as possible, whether it be history, whether it be literature, uh, the language, any subject area, you can use the drama to build on it. Um, drama also fosters teamwork, which you clearly saw right here. Did any of you see any of the mistakes that were made? Never saw any mistakes. What if a mistake was? What if, what if, what if? But many of you would not have seen the mistakes because they were as a team. And that's very important. You must always be wrong and strong. Yes. <laughs> no. Drama fosters a voice. In other words, it gives individuals, such as students, the opportunity to speak about things that they would, wouldn't generally speak about. Such as, of course, sex and sexuality, drugs, family issues such as abandonment. But more than ever, arts therapy is being used worldwide to heal not only students, but teachers, parents, and people in general. Now, drama has what is called the doing factor. And what we call the doing factor is simply doing. Children love to do, whether they're singing, acting, or dancing, even if they can't do it. They simply love to do it. And not just the child, but the child at heart. We all feel we can sing, we all feel we 